Hi, it's Melanie. It's lovely to have you here. I'm sure most of you have seen that the new prompt, I'm sorry, the new theme for Roxy's Journal of Stitchery Volume 6 has been announced and the theme is Field Notes. And when I heard Sarah announce it, I thought it couldn't be a more perfect time for me to actually follow along and hopefully complete one of their volumes. Uh, it, it's just, I don't know, I'm, I'm just really excited about this one. And so I thought I might start pulling things together. I know I'm jumping the gun a bit, but a little preparation won't hurt. So I heard Rachel and Sarah both, or Rachel mentioned that the format would be an accordion style journal. And I'm thinking something in this size for me. This is a B6 journal and this was a, I received this in a swap quite a few years ago and it's, I absolutely love this notebook. It's filled with things. Maybe I might actually do a flip through at one point. Uh, it came all the way from the US and I just love the way it feels and the size of this notebook. So I think this might be around the size that I use. This is another, just another plain notebook, um, which is a similar size to this one. Maybe we should measure it just to remind me. It's about 18 centimetres by, let's say, 12 to 13 centimetres across. Uh, and it's just a really handy handy size. Uh, this one, like I said, is just a, a plain notebook. I think quite a few years ago, Marguerite Miller was doing some challenges to use three items on paint chips. And I've done a couple. I don't know, does this happen to anyone else? I don't know if I used really cheap double-sided tape, but it, it leaves these weird marks. And I've really stopped using double-sided tape because of that. But like I said, maybe I was just using very cheap stuff. So I haven't done much in here, but it's a nice size. In terms of reference, I know uh, Rachel and Sarah both mentioned the Edith Holden books, which a lot of you probably have. I have them too, uh, but I also have this Wildflowers of Australia book, which might be nice reference for images again i i really don't know what the prompts are going to be but this has some nice images to draw from i also have this book called collecting ladies um, it features women botanical artists which i thought might be perfect reference guide which has you know, sketches and illustrations. I like the layout of this book, which might be great inspiration for the layout of the journal. I like the idea of maybe recreating some of these frames or as labels or something like that. This is, you know, lots and lots of things to to draw from and then what I realized and, and why I realized this new prompt or this new theme is perfect is because a few weeks ago I was in an op shop and I happened to find the country diary cross stitch pattern so these are the images that we all know from the Edith Holden book, but they're in cross stitch form. And I think this was published in the 80s. The only thing is the images are not that great. Uh, you do have, you know, the, the charts are in colour or somewhat. So it gives you an idea of what you'll be making. But I thought these might be great to use in the journal somehow. Now of course depending on the side of the size of the Ada cloth that you use 
that will determine the size of the finished cross stitch. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to use like a 22 or something, which is a very fine ADA, which means it'll produce a smaller image at the end, but will be really difficult and hard to do. Um, and given my eyesight at the moment, I'm going to have to do this, you know, during daylight or with really bright task lighting. But again, it's something to start working on maybe now. Like these ones here, you know, very cute, small images that might not take too long to do. But I just, I couldn't believe that I came across this a couple of weeks ago, which must have been a sign of what was coming. So I'll put the description or the details of this in the description box in case it's something that you might want to try and source. I don't know how readily available this is. Maybe some of you already own it. But this is the first time I've come across this. It's book 19 in the Country Cross Stitch Collection. I thought that was perfect. I've also been pulling out just a few fabrics and let's, I'm going to be real, I'm not going to be stitching birds. Uh, as much as I tell myself I might want to try, I just know I'm not going to. So I've got some fabric with birds on it. This one has some butterflies as well that might work. And then I've just been, you know, picking out some fabrics that have maybe a nature notebook feel to it, a vintage feel. I think I, I'd like this to look like, you know, an old sketchbook. Um, this, you know, I may not use any of these, but their inspiration at the moment. I've been looking through my collection of doilies and I found a few that have butterflies which is very handy. This one you know I might I might be able to actually cut it up and this one has uh, a flower. So this I think you know could even be a page because if I come uh, where's my my book if I'm using this or this one as a reference for the size, then something like this might work well as a page inside. But I don't know because we don't know what's coming. I'm just really excited for this theme and for this volume. And I thought I might start pulling things together. So I'll leave the details of these books below if you're interested in finding them for yourself. Is everyone else as excited as I am? I don't know. I hope the excitement lasts uh, all the way and that I'm able to actually finish one of these challenges. So I hope you've maybe found something else that's inspiring here. Let me know if you're going to join the challenge as well. And I'll see you next time.